Okay, I would be pretty confident in calling this front collapsed. The entire Indian slash Middle East front. I think I'm pretty good. Um, we got minimal resistance here. Probably should look at making a bridgehead here. Let's do that. Put these two across and got a few too many right here. So let's shift a couple up here. Which means I can probably put one more into this pocket. Okay, looks good. So with this front here, I think I'm just gonna hold the line. And I'm going to roll up through India and attack them right in in the, the rear and the flanks. So yeah, I'm going to hold the line here because I don't want to slug it out in these mountains. I'd rather roll up through India and then move up to the jungles. Once they see their impending doom, they'll start to move around, get a little more disorganized, and then I can start hitting them and squeezing the vice. And uh, from there, I'll be in a very comfortable strategic position because it's going to be really hard for me to break this uh, defensive line I mean they have the same idea as I do right they got the rivers and the mountains and it's just not a really good spot to be fighting with them so let's wait till we have a better strategic advantage and then I'll push in really need an airfield Where do I have that other airbase going? Airbase in Yuxi. Where's Yuxi? Oh yeah, right here. So that'll be useful later. It seems to be always the going rate that like, whenever I build an airbase, I, I only need it for maybe like a couple months and then all of a sudden I push the front out too far for it to be useful. It just kind of seems to be the, the modus operandi. I've been to Dharamsala before. Nice place, up in the mountains. It's where the Buddhists live. The Dalai Lama. I didn't get to meet him though, unfortunately. Oddly enough, I think he was in Canada at the time. <laughs> I do want to keep the momentum up. I don't know why Dharamsala is a uh, plains province. Because it's, it's pretty mountainous. I think at some point it might be worth it to reinforce my coastline with like coastal defenses. Being that I don't have a navy and I'm going to be pretty much stuck on this continent for quite a while. Probably until 1945 at the earliest I think. I have the ability to build transports right now, but I can't go anywhere with them because they have no escorts. Or I could use them down here. Maybe drive a wedge into here. Probably could use the tanks. Hmm. Do I want them here on this front or here? Well, they do have tanks here, so I probably should have some units that can match their speed. So yeah, we'll send them to the Indian front. Okay, they made it there before me, so um, move this one down that way. So let's change it up here. Let's go like, oh, son of a bitch, go like that. urban environment? Yeah, it is, yeah. So I'd rather surround that. It's going to be hard to surround it though, that's a lot of provinces. Might just have to slug it out with them. Because i got to be careful using my bombers here. They only had 
That's two air anti-aircraft guns at 62%. Not horrible, but it will, will do some damage to my bomber units. Okay, let's just keep this going down that way. Okay, perfect. So I'll use this force to push all the way across that bridgehead. Okay, how many units do I have defending the German front? 33. It doesn't look like they have a lot, so I'm not too worried about it. I think my naval focus um, will be on carriers. I'm not, I probably won't even do battleships. I won't even bother. I'll just do... Carriers, heavy cruisers, light and cruisers, destroyers, and then uh, battle cruisers isn't too bad because you can get uh, where is it a CV model that actually skips you a few classes. So I think this one will end up being like a CV four or three maybe. Pretty soon we'll do the fleet in being two, and then I'll go this route uh, with the combined army navy doctrine. That's carrier doctrine one. And then I think from there, uh, let me do this here. I think from there you go, yeah, carry doctor three. I just have to uh, make sure that I'm following the requirements. So like with these ones, sometimes they uh, require battleships, but this would be going with the fleet auxiliary carrier doctrine. So that's focusing more on battleships and, and carriers. It's like a secondary role. Nice. Okay, collapse that pocket. So we'll let this one rest there. This one is good to go. Move it down this way. I think what I'll do is I'll just occupy a bunch of provinces around here, enough to give me a uh, good multiple province bonus on my combat, and then I'll just push them out. We'll just slug it out with them. I think I want to research destroyers. Uh, let's see what we got in the Soviet tech teams. Mm, nothing great. Yeah, Soviet tech teams aren't that great when it comes to Navy. Okay, let's use this one. Oh, they just deployed a whole bunch more uh, divisions on there. Interesting. Okay, so I gotta be careful not to get overextended here then. So I will need numerical superiority here. Um, so that would be two here. Nine, 10, 11, 12. So I'll have 12 divisions against six, so I'll outnumber them two to one. Providing that they don't you know, deploy more units there. So I have a run of 16 naval bombers coming. I'm going to need more than that. Because that'll be my strategy at first. It'll be just covering what I can with naval bombers to eliminate any naval threat. Because I don't I have a navy of my own. You know, So I, I need what I, you know, to use what I have. My strategy is probably going to be island hop along the Aleutian chain eventually. That'll be a, how I get in the back door and take over the world. I don't know if I'll need to be at war with Japan eventually. I would rather not. I would rather not have to fight Germany. But it's going to take a lot of troops to f invade the United States. Like, Africa's a sideshow. I don't, I don't even want to get bogged down into that. So what do I need the most here? What does my operational needs demand? Um, close air support could be useful in the future. I have a lot of attack bombers, fighters, um, yeah, i got enough of those. I really haven't had to use them very much at all, actually. Yeah, 
Naval bombers are on the way. Interceptors haven't really been bombed at all lately. I don't seem to need those. In the future, maybe I will. I don't know. Let's think strategically and like tailor my needs for a battle plan with the U.S. So I'm basically like going full 21st century China here. <laughs> um, so Naval bombers got that covered, so eventually I will be island hopping, and I'll I'll need a lot of armor. Not, not a lot of air bases inside the United States. Until you get to the East Coast. So I'll be fighting my way through the West. So fighters will be more advantageous. Tack bombers, close air support. Probably won't have the range that I need. Um, yeah, build another round of fighters. What the hell. Keep them pretty low priority too. Okay, this frees up a lot of units. Okay, so I want to work on getting aircraft carriers going. Probably gonna take a while to research this tech team just because it's so erratic. Like there's no there's no tech team that has this combination. Which is I'm assuming the way they wanted it, right? You know, and designing your first aircraft carrier is no simple task. But I think it'd probably be good to go with this one. Oh, they are bombing me. Just didn't have the, uh, what do you call it, the prompt set up right. Alert. A notification. Where they... Wow. <laughs> Alright, well I got some fighters to fix that. Okay, got the bridgehead. So I want to push out to a spot where I will have... Potential for a breakout. I'd like to take Baghdad. I'm going to leave the north alone though because I want the allies to take this and then I can come in and roll behind them, steal it back and not have to fight Italy. I want that oil and I want that access to Turkey as well. Okay, so here's a little trick when an enemy unit bombs you because usually they follow patterns so they'll bomb this area for quite a while so it's very easy to predict where they're going to be so now I know that during the day they're going to issue a bombing run on this province so what I'm going to do is as of tomorrow I'll go 11th and then so I'm going to run this air superiority mission for about 7 hours and it's going to be on this province only so these units are pretty much waiting for this bomber to show up, and they're going to kick the shit out of it. Ah, they abandoned Karachi. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, here my fighters go. On the route to intercept. There we go. Caught them just as they were leaving. Okay, that's how you successfully intercept the bomber unit. And apparently win a battle. <laughs> So if I put a unit here, 120, I can get another one in Jais or Jaipur. Uh, that'll give me 150, I think. 
Hmm, so I already have one retreating here. Hopefully it's not going to Alwar. Hopefully it's going to Jaipur, because I'll probably beat them there. I hope. But either way, I'm going to take this. I can't say I've ever seen the Allies use so many different units from different nations than I have this time. This is actually surprising. Usually it's not this many. Ah, see, they did get some units out. Okay, forget that then. It's all good. I got the airbase in Delhi. Captured the capital. 